Good morning and welcome to BHC Today. I'm Pastor Dave. I'm so glad you joined me for a few minutes on this July 10th. Last week, we spoke of the words ordinary and extraordinary. And I invited you in that day to identify uh, what's taking place in your life, what you might consider ordinary and extraordinary. Well, I need to share something with you because um, yesterday in both of our services and without my knowledge really for quite some time, uh, something was being prepared to provide an extraordinary experience in my life as a worship pastor, as a, as a leader of a choir. And uh, so yesterday, um, in a great surprising moment, um, Pastor Rob uh, took over the announcement time and uh, greeted Diana Messerschmidt to come. Uh, and still I am living cluelessly, not knowing what's going to happen. And so she comes over with this wonderful uh, presentation, which I learned is a piece of music uh, that has been written uh, actually by Joe Martin in my honor, uh, funded by the BHC Singers and Bellevue Heights Church, and uh, to be presented to me uh, as a part of this weekend's worship environment. And so uh, I ask, uh, having planned already uh, for what the choir was going to sing, what the singers were going to sing, um, Diana inter identified that um, they were not going to be singing that, where they were going to be singing something else uh, that had been written, as in the case of I Am a Voice. And so um, I quietly whispered to her as uh, things were taking place. I said, well, who's going to direct? Uh, you know, once you're uh, in management of worship, you never quite leave it. And so uh, Diana said to me, she says, well, she says, as a matter of fact, uh, it's going to be directed by Joe Martin, who is actually the writer of the music, who was with us in the spring for a composer's weekend. But once again, I had no idea that Joe was here. And so it was good to have Joe uh, not only uh, direct the choir in this beautiful anthem, uh, but just simply to be here as a part of this weekend, which I had no idea that it was going to be extraordinary in the way it was. And so I uh, am really filled with great thanksgiving to the BHC singers for uh, this, ex this amazing experience they have given me, this wonderful piece of music that I am honored to have my name on. And, and actually, just a little bit more about it, they indicated, and I remember exactly the notes that Joe Martin took in uh, January when he was here on Pastor Rob's sermon. Uh, and so Pastor Rob has this music that also uh, his sermon inspired. And so it has been an extraordinary weekend, and I am most thankful to the BHC Singers, to Bellevue Heights Church, to my family, for the great surprise uh, that this weekend held. Which takes me back to something else. Again, I want to think in terms of those two words, extraordinary and ordinary. It occurs to me that when the Spirit breathes His life into our hearts, our bodies, and our minds, it is always extraordinary. Even though sometimes we live in what we believe to be an ordinary circumstance, as God lives in us through His Holy Spirit, based on the gift of Jesus Christ, our lives are destined to be extraordinary because of His presence and grace and love in who we are. He expresses himself, and nothing that the Spirit of God does is ordinary. Now, that doesn't mean that we may not live in that ordinary sometimes, not always being alert to what he's doing, not always alert to how we can live into his extraordinary, asking him to inspire us. But the Spirit always performs and lives in an extraordinary love, an extraordinary inspiration. The Spirit intends our lives to be extraordinary, and we want to let Him. Well, again, I have had a lesson in uh, an extraordinary experience this weekend for which I am very grateful. 
I hope your day today is filled with that awareness of the presence of the Spirit of God in your life that will take every moment that may be considered ordinary and move it to extraordinary because He loves you so much. He longs to for you to enjoy His presence in your heart and life. Oh, have a great day. May it be extraordinary by His grace and favor and by His loving presence. Goodbye for now.